For your very first knitted project, there are a couple of simple tools that you'll need to get. The first being knitting needles. There are two main kinds that you can use. We have what's called straight needles, which is two individual needles, and they come in all sizes, all shapes, all colors, all materials. Basically, you would do really well with wood needles. Those are excellent for beginners, or sometimes stainless steel ones. You want ones that aren't too slippery, aren't too sticky, something that lets the needles slide. So really look at some soft wood, not bamboo, but wood needles or stainless steel needles for your very first knitting project. And you can choose another option if you can't find any straight needles. Another option is circular needles. And these are basically two needles, but they're on a cord here. A lot of people find these a little more comfortable because uh, you can work in a lot of a variety of different positions with them. So this is an option as well. I want you to look at getting US size six or 4.0 millimeter needles or US size seven 4.5 millimeter needles. Either one will work. I just wanna make sure that you have a decent size where it's not too hard to see or not too big to handle. So look at those two types of needle sizes and choose whichever one feels right to you. The next material that you'll need is yarn and there are a ton of options for you, but I really want you to stick to a worsted weight, mostly wool, blend. And the reason why is because wool has a nice elasticity or stretchiness. See how it stretches a little bit like that? That makes it easier when you're working on the knitting needles. It's easier for your needle to get into the stitches and it's easier to come off of the needle when you're moving stitches between. This is different than something say that includes say linen or cotton, which I have an example of here which is not elastic. If I give that a tug, it's very firm. It's not going anywhere. It's a strong yarn. It's a fantastic yarn, but it's not super ideal for the very first time knitter. So look at something like our Superwash Worsted or our Superwash DK. It's not a worsted weight, but it's still a nice, thick enough yarn that it's easy to see, it's easy to work with, it's thick enough so that you can really feel what's going on and you're able to work a little bit faster. And then the last two materials you need are a pair of scissors and what's called a tapestry or a yarn needle to be able to weave in your ends, those little tails when we're done. Hopefully you'll only have two of them and I'll show you how to use that later. And that's all you need to get started making your first knitted project.